Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I'm Brendan Lee. In this video, I want to talk to you about woo-woo stuff, psychic ability phenomenon, and why I can't talk about these things. So, all right, cool. Um, <clears throat> comes from the forum. Thank you for posting. If you want to do that, check the links in the description. Hi, Brendan. Can you talk about strange slash psychic experiences that you or Ralston have experienced, like aliens, spirits, entities, mind reading? Thanks. And the topic is called woo-woo stuff. Um, can I talk about strange psychic experiences that me or Ralston have experienced, like aliens, spirits, entities, mind reading? Thanks. Um, I could talk about that. And I cannot. Um, and here's why. Like there is a sense that I have in relationship to the work that I'm doing here. You know, what we call consciousness work. And in, in this work, becoming conscious is in service of what's true. And trying to help people grasp what's true, you know, being a pointer, so to speak, a facilitator, somebody who works with people and people, specifically their minds, because that's really what is going on there. It's like a body and a mind in a way such that they can then become conscious for themselves of what's true. That's the goal. And one of the main reasons why, and this is probably a big downer as far as I can tell, because when I do workshops, when I facilitate workshops, for example, I, once we get going, you know, after a few days, I can sense in the audience a desire to want to be told fantastical things in the people. The people want to hear fantastical things. I can sense it. I don't know why. That's just the case. You know, for example, when I was younger, I had plenty of fantasies about, like, the martial arts master on the hill and the enlightened, you know, the enlightened martial arts guru teacher person. I'm going to go study, be an apprentice. And there's mixed in with the work and the reality of the business is, like, this fantasy, this world, if you will. And I found it hard or I can remember finding certain answers to questions being difficult. Like if I were to ask Peter, for example, about these types of things, he would just say, no, why talk about that? And the reason why not to talk about it in my position, like if I was not in a position of wanting to maintain a certain reputation as best I can for being straightforward and authentic and also really supporting people in their efforts is, is I cannot support them in fantasies. Why? Why not support people in fantasies? Well, because fantasies aren't real. You know, the, the, the strange worlds that people entertain are not in themselves real. Now, well, <laughs> so then, then it's like if I want a certain reputation, then I, then I cannot go down certain roads, not because I am disinterested. You know, I would be happy to entertain ideas of aliens and psychic powers and psychic experiences. But what, what the main problem I see with that is if, say I were to go down that road or Ralston were to go down that road or, or anybody else were to go down that road and just watch what happens when people go down those roads. It runs the risk of people, they will, as far as I can tell, chronically make connections between aliens and psychic powers and spiritual phenomenon and and then there will be a creative connected world where all of these components are interwoven into what we would call like a cosmology 
and the cosmology itself is then believed to be true in and of itself, which is a big mistake, and then that becomes a barrier to people wanting to discover more. And if I serve the barrier, I am doing a disservice, and that doesn't work for what I'm trying to do. Which is, you know, so then, then that becomes a challenge. Like, um, I would love to be footloose and fancy free, and sometimes I think I am a little too loose and free. You know, sometimes I do stuff, and I'm like, ah. Oh. Oopsie, I shouldn't have done that. That was probably that was a bit out of line, you see, and then and then I see the consequences when I if I if I make a misstep and then the people I'm trying to serve go careening off down a road and I and I see the road they're on, I'm like, God damn, did I just did I just like do them wrong? And then now that they have to work harder to get back, kind of thing. You know, this has occurred before and you know, it's just part of the part of the deal. So I, I can't go there. Now, where I can go in relationship to all that, I would say, is take a look for yourself. That's in the spirit of the work. You know, what what is psychic phenomenon? What is what are spirits? What is um, you know, what are different states of mind and how do you create them? See, you can check these things out. Um, What, you know, what powerful states of mind could you create? What, um, let's see, what else are you asking? Aliens and spirits and entities? Well, you know, consider what is an alien, a spirit, or an entity? You know, like, check it out. And not just, not just like a concept, but experientially, you know, um, hold an open question around that, and then you will be sort of in the, in the direction of this work, just like discovering what's actually true, because part of, part of where I see, I'm pretty sure like part of where, I'm, where I see that I'm coming from that other people aren't is having had a direct consciousness of my own true nature, and this is becoming directly conscious of something absolute, it throws a sharp contrast in a sense, to show up what is here. And if we consider aliens, for example, what do you actually have of aliens? Aside from a concept, what do you got? You see? Because by and large, most, if people are discussing aliens, for example... It's all concept. There's no actual experience of aliens. Now, maybe some people have had some strange phenomenon that they cannot explain. And then they go, oh, that's aliens. Now consider the strange phenomenon that is inexplicable. Then they go, that's aliens. The that's aliens part, that looks to me a lot like that's the concept. That's aliens. But what if we strip the concepts away? What are you left with? An inexplicable phenomenon. Well, what's that? Not a thought about it, but what is that? See, then now that's a different direction. You see how that goes. It's like one is in the direction of intellect and concept being woven together or or like created concepts into some world about that includes now aliens or the reality of it, whatever reality you've got. What's more experiential, less conceptual. And that's in the direction of like getting what is, not what is a concept. You see, or psychic powers. It's like, well, do you have any? Check it out. I don't know. See, start with start with that. Like, toss off the crap. Toss out the fantasies. Like, the fantasies could perhaps be like a placeholder, but that seems to be about it in terms of empowering you to experientially grasp these things yourself. A fantasy is best used as like a placeholder. Like, oh, I could get that, or I could have psychic powers. Okay, cool, there's a thought. Now what's real about that? Is the thought real? Like, where is the, the, tan- the thoughts aren't tangible, you see? For example, yeah. Um, so then I know, I presume that my answer is not suitable. It's not, it's not so fun, is it? And I remember 
when I was younger working with Peter, say, and I would have fantasies, and, and he would say, well, you know, that's a fantasy, and then I'd have to check myself and go, oh, yeah, that is a fantasy, and I might get a little bummed out about it. And he said something to me once, something like, well, the reality is actually way better than the fantasy. And as I have grown in my own studies and grown in my own work, yeah, the reality is far better than any fantasy because ultimately the fantasy isn't real. So don't, okay, so now I've said all that. Don't let this be a downer. You can if you want, but don't. Discover things. That's your job in this kind of work. Check out psychic power to aliens, phenomenon. Have your own mystical experiences. Go do stuff for you. Find out what it's all about. And I would definitely, in in relationship to this, if you want to grasp what's most real, then I would start, not like a uh, prescription, but I would encourage you to start with grasping who you are, what you are directly, and that'll help speed that process along. You'll You'll, you, it will change your perspective. In a way that's true. Whatever that is. Okay? So that's it. Thanks for writing in to the forum. Please keep them coming if you want to. Check the links in the description. If you want to do more serious work, hey, come here. Do a workshop. They are very powerful events with a trained facilitator. They will get you... Um, hmm. they're, they're, they're powerful. They do the job. Okay? So come on down. Thank you very much. Check the links in the description. If you want to see more of this work in the world, please um, share. You know, I want to invite you to invite other people to check it out. And until next time, much love. I'm Brendan Lee with thebrendanlee.com. Hey, shoot me a comment. Uh, write me an email. Say hi. Let me know how your work is going. Let me know if you have any questions. That's how I help produce content for these videos. Much love. Take care. Till next time.